going to do a test on wire reducers and see if they hurt or even impact the, the resistance that we see. First, I'm going to calibrate this. Very touchy. Okay. And first test I'm doing is with the reducer hooked up. Um, when I'm done with this test, I'll actually pull it out and show what I have on there. It's a zero gauge to zero gauge reducer. So it's not even really a reducer, but it gives it a nice clean input. Okay, so right now it looks like I'm reading 0.63 with the reducer on. Okay, it's actually going down a little bit still. Okay, 0.62, maybe 0.61. Um, Now we're going to take the reducer off and then test the wiring and see what result we come up with. As far as what I'm using, um, you can see here, this is, I just have a 1-0 to 1-0 reducer. It's a set screw. I'm using zero gauge um, OFC new concepts wiring about four feet of it. I'm take the screw just so we can see and make sure that we have. Yeah, there we go. And that we get all of the strands in there so we are not distorting the test at all. Okay. Looks like now our resistance is 0.56 to 0.57. I'm going to say right at, no, yeah, bouncing between 0.56 and 0.57. Okay, and again, that was using, um, it feels like aluminum. I'm sure this isn't copper by how light it is, but a, just an input for 1-0. I mean, they still call them reducers, even though this is a 1-0 to 1-0. So, um, those are the results of the test. Okay, so here's the breakdown. Um, not using a reducer, we were testing at 0.56 milliohms, whereas with the reducer, we were at about 0.62 milliohms. Um, that's a difference of 0.06, and broken down using Ohm's law, we can figure out that at 150 amps, the usage of this reducer would have cost us 0 0.009 volts of drop. Uh, 350 amps, 0 0.021 volts will be lost. And even at 500 amps, you're talking about a difference of 0 0.03 volts. Um, so overall, I, I would consider this negligible. Um, if you're more comfortable using these reducers, absolutely use them. Um, because really, I mean, at 500 amps, you should be using more than a single run of this wire anyway. So, I mean up to, you know, what the wire can even handle. You're talking about 0.03 volts. I mean, I, I say send it. If you, if you like the reducers, use them. Um, if not, I think you'll be fine without, but you know, if you're, if it's a wire that you're constantly removing, it's almost like a set screw style ferrule. So, um, yep, that's what we found out. So use them or don't, I don't make a profit on it. It's not something that, you know, glow voltage sells. So this is just the data. Have a good one.